October holiday ride 2010, we fulfilled ourselves another dream. Together with friends we wanted to ride from Beijing to Hohot. When we met Nigel early in the morning, he told us that he could not join in. That have been sad news and he was really ill. So it's Irving, Thomas and me to be the team of this year's October holiday ride. Beijing Datong. The first day we will ride over a distance from about 400 kilometers. The weather looks fine. We have had temperatures around 25 degrees this morning. Because of the national holidays, the G109 is truck free today. An enjoyable ride and we have had breakfast at the same spot like we have had in June. It's Indian summer and we enjoy the colors which are surrounding us. High up in the mountains we learned why the roads are so truck free. The police had stopped them and now they are waiting for a long time. 150 kilometers after leaving Beijing we also have had a stop at the roadside. A part of the transmission was broken we called Donut. Thomas has had a spare part and after fixing the problem we could roll on. Because it's October now, we try to hurry up a little bit. The days are much more shorter than in June. Shortly after passing the border, we stuck again with the second repair stop. This time it was a broken spring in the brake, but we could fix it very fast and here we go again. Thomas has told the god of repairs that now it's enough and for the rest of the ride we will not have another repair stop. And it's true. The sunny weather we have had while leaving Beijing has changed to a cloudy one. And because of the repair stops we are a little bit late now. So we decide not to visit the hanging monastery and better hurry up to reach the expressway. Now we are on S243 heading north. This road surface has a crazy kind of construction. One kilometer is pathed with black tar and another one unpathed and so it goes on and on. The villages are looking poor and partly abundant. In this small town even the road was gone and we need to cross a river without a bridge. We loved riding through this landscape. What we don't love is the dark sky. Only a short time later we hardly managed to dress in our rain gears before the thunderstorm struck us. There are no video takes from climbing up these great mountains when being on the other side, it was for the first time I could brave the rain and make some new shots. We definitely would like to go this road again and see the landscape with blue sky. Wet and frozen we managed to enter the expressway to Datong. We try to clean up ourselves as good as possible and then we go on the road for the last 70 kilometers to our hotel in Datong. Again we enjoy the luxury of the Howard Johnson Jindy Plaza and the barkeeper now knows how to make a decent German strong rock. This was a fine first day riding and we all hope that tomorrow's weather will be a little bit better. Yes, there are definitely blue patches in the sky. We all dressed much more warmer than yesterday. 10 degrees air temperature is not warm. Leaving Datong city is always a little bit adventurous. This time we found the right road on the spot.
Today it will be an easy ride, only 230 km distance between the two towns. The sky has lost its blue patches and the clouds are hanging dark and low over our heads. The colors and the feeling they bring are matching the small villages at G109 we are riding now. Because the bridge is under construction, the road follows a dry riverbed. And suddenly we see an absolutely amazing building climbing up a small hill. Gaoshan, it reminds me of the small brother of the hanging monastery. It's such a jewel in this ugly valley. After a while we left G109 and now we are riding the S210. Again I feel the rain coming but now we dressed up a little bit earlier. And not a moment too early, a rain is falling out of the sky which reminds me of autumn in Germany. The long and windy road runs through small villages, we see abandoned forts and parts of the old wall. It climbs up and up and soon we are inside small hills. After a while we stop to see a great sight. It's amazing and no tourists around. Only we. On the high pass in an altitude of 1900 meters above sea level, the rain changed to snow. It's really cold now, but it's an amazing ride. In between we have crossed the borderline and now we are in Inner Mongolia. The rain has stopped and I can make video takes again. After a while we make a short rest at the roadside and suddenly we can see the snow-covered mountains at the edge. Sloop by sloop the road is winding down to a valley in a high altitude. Reaching Yangcheng, it's time to go west again. And can you see it? The sky becomes blue again, yippee! But still it is very cold outside. Even if it's a valley, we are still in an altitude of 1230 meters. We love this landscape and the roads. Before making this October holiday ride to Hohot, a lot of people asked us, why are you going in this direction? There is nothing to see. Now we can prove that these people are wrong. It's 4.30 in the afternoon when we reach the outer skirts of Hohot. The roads are wide, there is not so much traffic out here and everything is clean. The following two nights we will stay at Jinjiang International Hotel. And after check-in also one of the local barkeepers learned to make a German grog. What an amazing ride! We covered 630 kilometers in two days. And now we are looking forward to visit the Mongolian grasslands tomorrow morning. See you then. Bye bye.